Hey GTA fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host Zelot, and we are here today doing the Alpha 9 series. And this is in orbit around the lava planet something. Um, Namak. There we go. So, we started building a base last episode. It out in orbit here and oh let's get closer and yeah I keep running away from the logistics so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a Wi-Fi in right away here I've got a bunch of blocks built you can see that I switched stuff up and I I've got some more blocks laid down since last episode obviously um, okay so what are we gonna do with this Wi-Fi we just like pop it um, you know what we'll just pop it down here for now <clears throat> okay so now I won't keep disconnecting every five seconds from the stupid Wi-Fi okay um, that's my center point right there where that single width window is and then I want seven panels on either side of this thing of this panel because that would be 15 in total so we've got one two three that means I need four more panels coming out this side okay so let's get these in and then so I, I, I have a bit of a vision for the base now. I didn't really have much of a vision last episode, but now, now as I'm thinking about it, I have a decent enough vision. Okay, so that's one. I need one more, right? One more, was it? Four more. Or uh, two more, because I needed four. And then... Let's just count this one more time. So we've got one in the center, and then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one more will make seven. Okay. And then we'll get the rest of them on the other side. That'll give us our full complement of power. And from there, it'll just start charging the capacitors like crazy. Okay. last one so that should be 15 in total okay that's pretty wide that's not bad that's not bad so now I want to extend the, the concrete and we're going to texture this to not look like concrete, I think. But in the meantime, it's going to be concrete because I want to get windows up too. Unfortunately, the windows that I'm doing are two by twos, and I don't think I don't think I can put multiple up at the same time like I can the one by ones, right? They just don't work like that. Yeah, that's okay. We'll get these two by twos up. That'll be a good portion of the, uh, the sun facing wall done. And then, see, look at that. That just worked out perfectly. Okay. So, let's get the blocks in here. Get that 
finished off and then get the windows in. Like I say, the, the two by twos, you can't do more than one at a time. Come on. Nice, okay. So from the bottom and the top, I want concrete again. So this is gonna be like that. And I think I'm just going to run concrete right up the side here on this one because it's going to be a real ugly corner if I don't. And that just cleans the corner right up. Yeah. Okay, and then we're going to continue the concrete along the top here. So the, the actual top part is going to be where the main CV pad will be. Um, this layer here where the panels are is going to be my my mechanical area, construction room. I don't know if it's going to come out this wide yet. It probably won't. Although it might, because what I want to do is the garden uh, down below so I'll show you. We're gonna. Oops. No. 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 We want. Where is it here? Three. Three. Okay. And then. Oh. So what I want to do is have. Hmm, do I want three? That's going to be a lot. Well, not necessarily if, if it's only three wide. It's only three wide. It's not going to be too bad. Okay, so let's, let's bring that up for now so that we know what we're up against. I think... I don't want to have concrete there. This is obviously going to be concrete here, but. Okay. So I'm thinking I should start plot grow plots along here now. Right? Um, now, I, I guess what I could do is fill in underneath and make it all solid with concrete. Um, hmm. I might be able to seal up portions of it and make it growable. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I do have some grow plots and then I can make a bunch. So we'll see. Uh, let's just keep putting down. So we need concrete everywhere. Lots and lots and lots of concrete. Okay, so let's grab it. Gra we'll grab some oxygen while we're here. How's this thing tuned, by the way? Let's take a look. We can um, just do it through this go into the vessel and we look at actually let's eat that and we can look at it oh it's out okay well we better do something about that there we go okay uh, 
uh, we also wanted to get some more blocks that it, that not the vessel was making, but uh, the base. So putting blocks. Where am I putting blocks? I am putting blocks here. Yeah. Okay. So where am I? Base cargo five. Can we carry that? Yeah, apparently. Okay, good. Get that. Come on, come on, get stop it. Shenanigans. Building shenanigans. Okay. So it's going to be kind of a long, thin corridor that I'm making here. Uh, two stories high. One with grow plots underneath. And the other is going to be all the mechanical construction, uh, storage, all that sort of crap. And then up top is just going to be a huge pad that comes out because... The rest of this area is going to be a ginormous construction bay, sealed in, but huge. Hopefully I can fit a medium size, a smallish medium size, like class 3, class 4 CV through it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I think it might be a pipe dream, but I can get a pretty decent size CV through it, I think, when I get it done. So... Get this all filled in, concrete. And it's too far, but that doesn't matter because I think that's the end. We're going, we're going to go wall the way anyway. We're going to go wall the way down. Yeah. So this will be the back wall. This will be the back wall. Okay. Um, well, let's get in as much blocks as we can. I'm not going to worry about painting and texturing until we get pretty much the building, the main structure built. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is going to be good. This is going to be good. So once I have this thing finished, it should be... It should be big enough for a small guild to to function with too. Like it's it'll definitely be more this than sufficient for a single player. And I think uh, for a small guild, it should be it should work too. Once uh once it all comes together, and it's not going to be a box once it's done. Don't worry. Like all my vehicles are boxes, I know. I say it's not going to be a box, and it turns out to be a box. I'm going to try not to be a box, though. It might be a little boxy, but I'm going to try not to. Um, come on. Oh, it's not going to. It's not. Oh, there it goes. Nice. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm sure 
with all these panels cranked. Actually, we, we didn't even take a look at that. Let's take a look at that. Oh, wow. Batteries max. We should get the other ones down. And yeah, 4.48 KPU. <laughs> a constant 4.48 KPU. That kicks ass. That is so solid. It's pretty much infinite power. Like, I'll put down a bunch more capacitors. I'll probably have six or eight capacitors on this thing. And when it's fully charged, it's like, even if you run the thing for days with that much current going into it and that much charge built up, it would take a week of full power probably running everything at once to drain it. And I don't even think it would drain. I don't know. 4.5. 5 KPU is pretty pretty solid like it's that's pretty crazy the bugged out base on the snow planet was 3 when it was bugged out so even even this base would be able to keep up with it no problem and charge it the bugged out base Oh, are we going too far here? Are we going too far? Nope. Just keep on going with the back wall. So I need... Hopefully I got enough windows because... Pretty much this side is going to be all windows. Looking into the construction bay. Here, let's turn around and... Get our bearings. So this is going to be all windows. So how are we going to do that? Because it's not, it's one, two, three, four, five high. Uh, Okay. Yeah, because all the nice facilities will be on the other side with the view. <laughs> uh, but I think we we'll, we want to have windows on the inside. We got we're gonna have to make a crap ton more windows. I think. Yeah, this ain't gonna be enough. So let's flip this around. So it's smooth up against that end. It means we, we're burning that block, but it doesn't matter. We've got we've got lots of depth to this room, this chamber. So let's just do this. Let's do it. Oops. We'll do uh, glass all the way along. We might just bring concrete down because I don't know if it's going to be necessary to have glass. Although it would look pretty epic. I... I It's five high. I might just bring one lip of, of concrete down. Really wish you could place more than one of these large ones at a time. It's kind of annoying, really. <laughs> Speaking of, we should probably get more of these going because I'm going to need more. So let's do that. Oh, not that. Not that. Not that. We want... Get out of here. Go into here. Go into here. We want to go with that. So everyone's group into here. That one's cooking up that. That's fine. <clears throat> this one's got to get cooking up some more windows. We can throw some more stuff in there going into five. That's fine. So let's get some more windows going. That's blocks. There we go. Get a couple hundred. We're going to fry our silicone, but that's okay. We've got a bunch. We'll go get some more. We've got, we've got a lot in the uh, SV still. Yeah, they, they fry, they fry silicone quickly. Okay. Let's just get this, uh, I want to get this construction area sealed in here. So let's get it sealed in. 
and uh, uh, oxygenated, and then uh, um, I guess a access point somehow. It's going to have to be in the floor somehow. Okay, so that is unfortunate that I didn't think about that. I totally derped and uh, I totally derped. I totally derped. I need to uh, pop these out. Yes, it's not asymmetrical, I just realized. Not that big of a deal. Just a little bit of, little bit of time and multi-tool juice. Okay, so let's put the window right to the edge then, right? So we'll do that then. That way, that way we know, and then once there's, once we make it to the one in the center, it's just a single. Or maybe that's where the door will be. Yeah, we'll put a door there on this side. We'll put a door. That makes total, that is an awesome idea. Okay. But I can't tell. I don't think we brought the texture tool. I guess we can make one. So there's there's the core. So the core is right there on that block right where the oh Wi-Fi is like right where it is. Okay. Well, that's that's cool okay so we can put a door in there um, now I think I'm just gonna do concrete I think I'm just gonna do concrete for here Yeah. Just gonna go like this. It's all filled in. Get it all sealed up. And then uh, we'll call it an episode and I'll continue cooking up the rest of the blocks for the next episode. We'll uh, get some construction or some cargo uh, going properly. And uh, hopefully we, we can get the uh, grow up built. So let's, now do I want to seal this in with, yeah, let's just, let's just do that. We'll, we'll seal it in. Seal it up like the other side. Come on. Yeah, it just makes it nice and clean. Okay. Uh, hopefully we should have enough. Come on. This is not easy to place these lig large freaking glass panels, let me tell you. Ugh. Come on. Got 
going to kind of line it up. Get the crosshair right on the the other window. You got to be on the right angle. It's really tricky, actually. Okay. Um, okay, let's get the other side done. This one's going to be a pain in the ass, too. Okay. Although this one seems to go in a little easier. The trick is to, to aim at either the one at one of the ones that it's touching to try and get yeah there we go okay come on come on come on really oh I, oh I had it there we go. Okay, so now uh, we'll do a we'll do a ventilator up there. Oh, I just realized something. <laughs> I'm sure all of you guys were. <laughs> Um, we kind of need to move the SV. Can I even get into it? <laughs> yep. Oh, my. the shenanigans. I can't see because the camera decides to just do its own freaking thing. Okay. Then land then. Oh, really? Okay, let's jump out. getting stuck on uh, really <laughs> here let's wow did they just all retract when I did that and now and now that one's ghosted <laughs> It's like, no, don't, and the other one's just, okay. Uh, I need some oxygen. No, no, no. Although I do need to eat something, too. Probably make me sick when I do it. You know what, we got a, we got a bunch of emergency rations on us. Let's just do that. 
Okay. Um. Can we go straight back? Come on. Yeah. There we go. That's what it was. It was the landing gear that was getting jammed up. Okay. Um, no, that's fair. That, that's fine. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come back. Come back. Back down here, okay. Okay. Um, there we can turn the thrusters off. We could probably turn the lights off too, they're unnecessary. There we go. You know what, I do, yeah, I, no, I, there, we'll just go like that. That's fine, that's fine, okay. Okay, so now we are almost, we are almost got a sealed area. Okay, so let's get the, let's get a door made. Let's, Stop that for a minute. I want a door. Give me a door. Thank you. Oh, it. I must be connected to that one because it put it in there. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. That's where I want it. That's good. Okay, not that. Um. Excellent. And how about this? Can we care? Oh, yeah, that's awesome. So the door's going to go right there, right? Somewhere. So spin that. So let's go right there. And then we're going to finish the windows in. So. Let's get these back in. Come on, stop, stop, stop. Thank you. Okay, and then Pop that out there, put a ventilator in, because that's also going to be all, or, hmm, you know what, I'll do a ventilator in each corner, so let's just do, let's go like this, come on, come on, thank you, and just a regular one here. Okay, now this should seal. Yep, there it goes. 22 degrees. Okay, and then we've got, let's do, make a couple of ventilators. Where are they? I looked right at them, didn't I? I'm like, there they are. One, two, we'll make a couple of ventilators. And then we're gonna need some O2 tanks in here. So let's, we're gonna need a ton. They're expensive, aren't they? But we are gonna need a ton. We're gonna need cobalt. How much cobalt do we get? Oh, we got lots of cobalt on us. Okay. Okay, so let's, get like 
20, 24 of those made. Trust me, we're going to need it. This base is going to have some large open areas that are going to... One huge, giant open area, I should say, that's going to need this. So, Okay. But in the meantime, getting a few of them in should be sufficient for this area. Okay. Let's get those in. And then we can throw some oxygen in and we will be oxygenated. So let's put these in here. I think I want that one up there. Like that. And then the other one down at the other end. It's probably overkill. We probably don't need to. It's just I like having the symmetry. Okay, and then this will all be moved. I'll be doing something other than how this is here. It's just, this is, a, this is what we're working with right now. Okay. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to put these in. You know, I'm just going to, not really sure where to put them at this point. So, although... Making them look like they're connected to directly to it. We'll see. I can always move them. I can always move them, right? So we'll do that and that, and then two down at the other end. That's a pretty cool view. I like that. I like that. That's nice. It's going to look really good on the other side when it's all open. This is going to end up being a fairly decent size base. I like it. Good. Okay, so. Um, I guess all we need to do now is really put the air in there, right? So let's do that. And where did I have that? I had that in right here there we go and we should be able to turn it on now and there we go we have oxygenation in space in our space base so there we go we can we can work in comfort now i gotta get a fridge um, a food constructor, a couple of fridges and a food constructor, I think, are the next thing I'm going to make. we got to get the, uh, the grow up downstairs going next, because food is going to be an issue uh, if I don't do that soon. Uh, right now, though, what we should do is, before the end of the episode, let's put down the, those other capacitors. so that they can get charged up too. And then, um, yeah, I'll just put them here for now. It doesn't really matter. I will move them, it's just. So what are we at? Well, 50% battery, just because I threw those two down, but consumption of 1.5K. Oh, that must have been because the, uh, the constructor was gone, so back down to 80k up oh, 1.5 again okay so what's the and why is it flashing back and forth okay not sure but it's charging super fast <laughs> it's charging the battery super fast so that's really cool Okay, uh, well, uh, unlock level 10. Oh, because of the advanced constructors on it. Yep, yep, okay. 
Well, I need to build a lot of stuff. Lots of cargo containers, uh, grow plots, all the stuff to get this up and running to a basic base again so that we have a functional base. And then, uh, and then we'll, we'll work on the workshop once we get the, uh, the grow up and the construction and all this sorted out. So next episode, we'll continue on uh, with the space base. Until then, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.